because usually they're taller and I can't. I have no shot. But I was like, I think I can do it. And so then they like bet me that I wouldn't and whatnot. So uh, you know, I, I broke one and uh, I wasn't really thinking when I did it, but I, it just happened. It's just one of those things that happened. Are you gonna have a bone yard leap this year? It's pretty. It's pretty high up there, but uh, I gotta work on my vertical a little bit. But <laughs> we'll see. All right. Well, good luck this season. Thank you. On the special team side, uh, how tough was it in preseason, especially on the kick return, punt return, where you, you know, they just kind of play two-man tag, basically. Is right. that tough to simulate how you'll do returns in the game, or are you kind of used to it now? Um, it's tough to simulate when you get tackled, yeah. and that's that's the thing that's tough out there because you always want to keep running as a returner, yeah. and so you never know, you never want to say you get tagged. So <laughs> yeah. you usually see that later on in film. Yeah. But uh, no, I think the blocks are still the blocks are still live, so you still get a good read on those. But um, yeah, people coming off blocks and stuff <laughs> like that, it definitely it definitely would make it harder. But yeah. it's just one of those things that you got to go through and, and deal with. As far as today, and obviously I know you're on you're non-contact, you know, the red jersey. Yeah. Is that tough? Are you ready to kind of just shed that thing? And how are you feeling? Yeah, no, I, I feel good. I feel I'm, – I'm ready to go. I've been ready to go. Um, I don't like wearing the red jersey. Yeah. I wish they wouldn't have put me in one. I told Coach Houston I didn't want to wear one my whole career here. But, yeah. uh, no, I, I had to do it. Um, but, no, by Monday I think I think we'll be ready to go. So. Kick returns are cool, but it's been since 2004 ECU's had a punt return for a touchdown. So, how how hungry are you to maybe add that to the list this year? No, I'm I'm very hungry for that. You know, uh, last year I wanted one really bad. Uh, I couldn't get it. A couple times were my fault, but. You know, this year, I, I think we have the ability to break one, especially for the guys blocking for me up front and just holding up. I think we got a stacked team right there, so I'm excited. You said Maceo was your roommate. He got the scholarship today. How cool was that? That was that was awesome. I mean, I'm, I'm so happy for him just because I know what he's been through. I've been rooming with him to be year three, and we were really close freshman year. So, uh, you know, I'm happy as I can be for him. He deserves it. Uh, you know, I can't wait to see what he does. I, they got him playing – running back and receiver now so I can't wait for him to find his role and just ball was that something that he like strived for when y'all talked about like just hanging out of the house hey man I'm trying to get the scholarship like obviously he's been here and put in the work for it yeah no every day you know he I asked him about it and he was just like it's just like a weight taken off my shoulders which I mean he came in there every day and it, it, nobody's more deserving than him he works as hard as he could harder than anybody else so you know it's definitely I'm really excited for him and he, he earned that I know they've been moving Maceo to, to your spot, you know, with you out. Looks like Patterson might play there, a couple other guys. Have you noticed any young guys uh, behind you that have stepped up this preseason? Yeah, no, they all they all have the ability. I think the receiver room is really deep. I think we got a special room in there. Uh, but, no, Maceo, he's, he's a veteran guy. Uh, he knows what to do at any position you put him at, and he can get it done. So I think he'll be fine. And then Jari, he's coming in, and he's doing really well. Um, He's still learning the plays, but he's got the ability when the ball is in his hands to do some special things. And then Kerry King has been out with a wrist injury, but he's special too, and he can run. So, no, I think I think we got a special room in there. Donnie always says uh, nobody wants to play behind you because you never want to come out of the game. Yeah. So uh, how much pride do you try and take in that? Or do you, do you want to play the whole game? Do you ever want to come out? I always want to play the whole game. I I get upset whenever they go big personnel, uh, two tight ends, but because uh, I know I can't be in there for that. But no, I, I mean, I don't. I don't like to get tired. I don't like to come out. Um, but if I absolutely need to, then obviously I will. But other than that, I, I'll try to stay in as much as I can all game. So you you already have your degree, right? Yes, sir. So you got three years of eligibility remaining with this COVID deal. <laughs> like when you look at that, I know you might have future aspirations of playing the NFL as well, but. Like you could have a lot of college football left right. in front of you too. So like, you know, what type of opportunity is that for you when you kind of look at your future, not only the present? It's a huge opportunity. Just that COVID year and the new redshirt rule that they put in uh, my freshman year, I guess. Yeah. But uh, no, I, I look at that as an opportunity. I mean, that's three whole years that I can have, like that I that I still have here. To if I if I want to go. Obviously, I want to go, but uh, if I if I need them, I can use all all three of them to the ability to the max. So, no, that's that's a huge huge deal for me. You could catch uh, Zay Jones' record, maybe if you yeah. stay for <laughs> what six seven years. Yeah, I mean, you could become a doctor too if I stay that <laughs> yeah, long. True. So yeah, no, yes sir.